South Thessissa. The vast majestic savanna, gently molds the texture of nature. All the way from the peaks, and down to the valleys, enriches the thrilling sensation of trekking in the wild, through forest and steep cliff towards the Ngabatata waterfall. From this water spring and others around it, flow streams of clear water which holds a big part in helping tradition to sustain. This is a come-of-age ritual for boys, to become men. The sanctification in the valley's river, is the first phase of this series of ritual. It is a verification or acknowledgement by custom, that, a man is ready to customarily speak and can be said, is a knight for the community. This symbol of knighthood, is proven during hunts in the forest. Huntings, are done, before the planting season, to search for food, and eliminate pests for the coming planting season. People, of South Essisa, live communally, in authentic traditional villages. With local wisdom preserved, amongst and inside traditional architecture. They reside humbly and harmoniously, Children create their own creative games, and play together cheerfully. A simple kind of happiness. Until a certain age comes along, and the girls must go through a customary come-of-age ceremony, performed by getting their teeth chiseled, with a rock. All the other tools, are also very traditional. The adult women, have their own way of preserving their traditions. They produce hand-woven textiles, and the pounding sounds of the weaving echoes throughout the villages. These fabrics are worn on a daily basis, and also on traditional custom ceremonies. Some of which are traditional dances performed in the middle of the village. Ancestral traditions and cultural heritage are well maintained and reflected through Echu. Echu, the traditional boxing. Act as a symbol of gratitude of the previous crop. It is performed in the middle of the village. People believes that blood spilt from the boxing, reflects, fertility of the land. This is the perfect combination of culture, and nature. 